Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover how to divide decimals by two-digit whole numbers. Now decimals and division show up all throughout math and really throughout life as well. So being able to work with decimals and solve division problems involving decimals will be beneficial no matter what class, level of math, or goal you are working towards. Whatever your situation may be, this should be helpful in better understanding how to divide decimals. Let's jump into number one, where we have 65 and 87 hundredths divided by 25. The first thing that we need to do, we need to set this problem up. That way, we can go through the division process. 65 and 87 hundredths is the dividend, the number we are dividing. So that goes under the division bar. 65 and 87 hundredths divided by 25. 25 is the divisor, the number we are dividing by. That goes on the outside of the division bar. Now, whenever we have a division problem that involves decimals, we always need to check, is the divisor a whole number? If yes, we bring the decimal straight up into the answer. So it's going to place the decimal for us. In number one, 25 is the divisor. So yes, we have a whole number. Again, that means we bring the decimal straight up into the answer. Now we go through the division process, the same process we use with whole numbers. So divide, multiply, subtract, bring down, repeat. Let's start with divide. So we have six divided by 25. How many whole groups of 25 in six? Well, we can't do that. So we need to use that five and look at 65. We have 65 divided by 25. How many whole groups of 25 in 65? Well, two, that gets us to 50. Let's put that two above the five in 65, not above the six. Again, it needs to go above the five because we used that 65. Now we multiply two times 25, 50. Subtract, five minus zero is five, six minus five is one, so 15. Now we bring down and we have 158, and we repeat, so we go back to divide. 158 divided by 25. How many whole groups of 25 in 158? Six, that gets us to 150. Multiply, six times 25, 150. Subtract, eight minus zero is eight, five minus five is zero, and then one minus one is zero, so 158 minus 150 is eight. Then we bring down and we have 87. Then repeat, so divide. 87 divided by 25. How many whole groups of 25 in 87? Three. That gets us to 75. Multiply, three times 25, 75. Subtract, seven minus five is two. 8 minus 7, 1. So now we have 12. We went all the way over to the furthest place to the right, the hundredths place. But we have a 12 at the end. We do not have a clean cut 0 yet. That 12 does not mean remainder 12, like when we work with whole numbers. This answer is in decimal form, so we need to keep it that way. What we need to do is extend the problem until we get a clean cut zero, and that's when we will have our final answer. We can do this by using placeholder zeros. So let's use a placeholder zero in the thousandths place that we can bring down. Remember, zeros to the right of a decimal do not change the value of that decimal, of that number. So we can do this without changing the problem. Let's bring this zero down. And now we have 120. So we repeat, divide. 120 divided by 25. How many whole groups of 25 in 120? Well, four, that gets us to 100. So we put a four here, multiply, 
4 times 25, 100. Subtract, 0 minus 0 is 0, 2 minus 0 is 2, 1 minus 1 is 0. So we have 20, and we still do not have that clean cut 0. So we can use another placeholder 0. Let's extend this division bar here, and we will bring that 0 down. And we have 200. So we repeat, go back to divide. 200 divided by 25. How many whole groups of 25 in 200? 8. That hits 200 exactly. So we will put the 8, multiply 8 times 25, 200, subtract 200 minus 200 is 0. And now we have that clean cut 0. We are done. 2 and 6,348 ten thousandths is our final answer. So for that one, we needed to extend with zeros in order to get to that final answer. Remember, zeros to the right of a decimal do not change the value of that decimal, of that number. So we are able to do that in order to complete the problem. Let's move on to number two, where we have 359 and one tenth divided by 63. Let's set this problem up. 359 and 1 tenth divided by 63. 359 and 1 tenth is the dividend, the number we are dividing. 63 is the divisor. So let's check. Is the divisor a whole number? Yes, 63 is a whole number. So we can bring the decimal straight up into the answer. And now we go through the division process. We start with divide. So we have 3 divided by 63. How many whole groups of 63 in 3? Well, we can't do that. Let's use the 5. So we have 35. How many whole groups of 63 in 35? We can't do that either. So we need to use the 9 as well. We have 359 divided by 63. How many whole groups of 63 in 359? Well, I'm not sure how many groups of 63 are in 359, so we are going to need to estimate and check. I'm going to use 63 times 10 as a reference point, something to go off of. 63 times 10 equals 630. So we need 359. 359 is about half of 630, somewhere around there. So let's start with half of 10. Let's try 63 times 5, see how close we get to 359, and go from there. So 63 times 5. 5 times 3 is 15. 5 times 6 is 30, plus that 1 is 31. So we get 315, and that is as close as we are able to get. But let's just try 6 and see what that will look like. So 63 times 6. It doesn't hurt to try, so you can always try one more and see if you can get any closer. 6 times 3, 18. 6 times 6 is 36, plus 1, 37. So 378. So 6 was too much. It's going to be 5. Now 5 needs to go above the 9 in 359 because we did 359 divided by 63. Make sure it's not above the 3 or the 5, but again, above that 9. Now we multiply 5 times 63, which we already did, is 315. Subtract. 9 minus 5 is 4. 5 minus 1 is 4. 3 minus 3 is 0, so we have 44. Bring down the 1. We have 441, so we repeat. Go back to divide. 441 divided by 63. So how many whole groups of 63 in 441? Well, I'm not sure. I'm going to need to estimate and check. And let's use the information we already have. We have 63 times 5 is 315. We have 63 times 6 is 378, so let's try 63 times 7. 
7 times 3, 21. 7 times 6 is 42, plus 2 is 44. So we have 441 exactly. We put our 7 up here. 7 times 63, we multiply, is 441. Subtract, 441 minus 441 is 0. We went all the way over to the furthest place to the right, and we have a clean cut 0 here at the end, so we are done. 5 and 7 tenths. So there you have it. There's how you divide decimals by two-digit whole numbers. Always check, is the divisor a whole number? If yes, bring that decimal straight up into the answer. Now in this video, our divisors were whole numbers, so we were able to bring that decimal straight up. If the divisor is not a whole number, I will cover what we do in other videos. Those links are down in the description. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.